Hi, and welcome to the deep dive look on the multiple Postgres databases feature inside of Hazura 2.0. This is a very exciting functionality that enables multiple databases inside of a single backend where you can have insight and observability and monitoring across all of your different uh, production needs in a single place. And that's a really powerful concept for developers today. To, to access multiple databases, it's quite simple. We go to the data tab and we'll go to the data manager. And from here, I'll hit connect database. And I'm gonna give this a simple name from the shapes database. And this is a Postgres database. We'll be incrementally supporting more and more database types in the coming months. And I already have my Postgres connection string inside of my pasteboard. So I'll just add that here and we will connect the database. We give this a moment to connect and provision everything that it needs to. And we have the shapes database connected. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this now. And now we'll see that we have the two tables from the shapes database already available to us and suggesting that we should go ahead and track those. I'll go ahead and say track all. And now we have those two tables tracked inside of the relationship, which is a really powerful feature uh, functionality. It's a really quick way to access our data. Let's go to the graphical explorer and see how quickly we can go ahead and browse that data. So this was from our shapes and I'm going to go ahead and just drop down now and grab a name on that. And we'll see that that data is already available. Now that's that's really powerful as it is. What's really interesting as well is we could actually, in the same query, access the data from our local database too. So I'll go ahead and search for colors now. And I'll go ahead and just grab the name on that. And now from inside of a single query, I'm able to access both my my shapes database and my colors database. And being able to unlock that and enable that sort of connection between these two is such a powerful concept for developers. I think you're gonna really enjoy working with that functionality. I wanted to just bring one point to your attention as well. And that is because my database did not have any foreign keys identified inside of its actual structure, I was not able to surface automatic relationship opportunities. That's not a problem. We can still define those just as easily as we would in any other database that we maybe started from inside of Hazura. I'll just simply go here to the shapes again and I'll configure this relationship really quickly where I will tell this to be in a object relation where this will be now called the set and that is on the set table where my set ID will be available underneath the ID of the set. Uh, the set ID will match the ID of the set table. When I hit save there, now I've, I'm tracking that relationship in the metadata of this Hazura project for that database that I've brought in. And we can, we can inspect that behavior now if we go to the API and I go down onto my actual shapes and I go to the name and I want to check the set that it now has. And we can see that that relationship is created. Uh, in this case, where my circle and triangle do not actually have a set they belong to. So that's the uh, quick in-depth view of multiple Postgres databases. It's a really powerful concept where you can track and monitor and control multiple parts of your application stack inside of a single console. We'll be releasing many new features even around this concept specifically with cross database joins in the coming months and look forward to that release. And in the meantime, we'll catch you in the next video for more advanced features in Hazura 2.0.